Hello guys, this is SN modernization. I will install Rails, I will install aiming devices. What goals do I set for myself? I will install handguard, an upper handguard, a rear side rail to create a very reliable mounting point for aiming devices. I will exchange the buttstock. It will be a folding buttstock, but a telescopic one, which has an adjustable cheek and an adjustable butt pad. I will install a pistol grip, hand stopper for more ergonomics as well as a charging handle and I will install a muzzle device for more comfortable sound. About electronics, I want following functions. I want a red dot, a visible laser, an infrared laser, an infrared illuminator and a visible flashlight. And I also want the iron sight to stay visible. So these five functions will be in two devices and one of the devices will not be PS2. PS2 is 4-in-1. So are you intrigued? The new device will be demonstrated today that was not demonstrated earlier. And on each step I will wait the whole setup. My name is Anastasia and I will start with waiting regular setup of Vitesse SN without the magazine. It weights 2 kilos 818 grams. Time to disassemble the rifle. Next step, handguard installation. I will install B21U handguard. Other options for Vitesse are B21M with Picatinny rails on all sides and B21L with basis rails on all sides. B21U that I am going to install has a Picatinny rail on the bottom and basis rails on sides. I close the lever on handguard retainer. I install B19N upper handguard. Other possible option is B19. B19N has a lowered top Picatinny rail. B19 has a full size top Picatinny rail.
next product that I'm going to install is B22 rear side rail. B22 is installed directly on handguard and it gives a very reliable mounting point for a red dot. A more reliable one than the regular dust cover because it is mounted directly on the handguard which fits very tightly. It was hammered into the receiver. Important note here, you should not hit the handguard directly, you should use a spacer, like I just demonstrated. Another feature of B22 is that the iron side stays open. I will demonstrate that when I install everything. Next element – buttstock. VTS SN is compatible either with PT1 or PT3 buttstocks with AK stock adapter. I would like to install PT1 buttstock. It has two sling mounts. You leave the one you like. I will screw out one point sling mount and leave another one. I check how it falls with fixation. It falls, it is fixed. To unfold it, I press this button. Next step pistol grip. There are two possible options RK3 and RK9. I did an overview of these grips. The choice depends on your ergonomics. For example, for me it is more comfortable for, to use RK9. For some people it is more comfortable to use RK3.
RP2 charging handle is compatible with Vitis SN, I will install it. Now I will install RL1 hand stopper. In previous year we modernized our hand guards and added this mini basis rail in the rear part for installation of RL1 hand stopper. That's a very very comfortable position for it. Very, very comfortable. Now it's time to weight the rifle in this setup. Weight in new setup is 3 kilos, 204 grams. What became better in a new setup in comparison with an old setup? I'll start with the buttstock. Now the buttstock is not only folding with fixation, but also telescopic, so I may adjust the length. Here is the maximum possible length, and it can be folded with fixation with any chosen length. I will demonstrate. Folds with fixation. The adapter is designed in such a way that it can be folded with fixation with any chosen length length and uh, to unfold it you press a button on the adapter you do not grab and tear it like this i know you are strong guys but don't do that press the button next to change the length you press a button here also do not tear it just press the button very easily it has an adjustable cheek and an adjustable butt pad. The new RK9 pistol grip is very ergonomic. Also, RL1 hand stop is very ergonomic. It is so comfortable to hold it like this. Once you start holding it, you do not want to give it to anyone else. It is much more comfortable to operate with RP2 charging handle than without one. And finally, rails. B21U handguard, P19 and upper handguard and B22 rail, they create a very reliable mounting position for aiming devices. If you want them to hold zero, you install them on these rails. And I did not forget about shadow muzzle device. I wanted to show you the weight without one, because for some goals you use it, for some goals you don't use it. You may use a DTK-2V muzzle brake with Vitesse as well. But today I want to make a setup with Shadow 1 muzzle device. I take off the regular muzzle brake. I use Shadow 1 with 16 by one adapter
weight with shadow one installed is three kilos five hundred and ninety five grams and now time for electronics as i promised five functions two devices and the first device was here all the time that is Klish 2 dual flashlight visible flashlight and infrared flashlight two in one I will install it with B16 rail to put it a little bit forward for more comfortable grip here is B16 Clash 2 is installed. Very comfortable operation. And now the biggest intrigue and a cherry on the cake of today's video. I said there will be five functions. Visible laser, infrared laser, visible flashlight, infrared flashlight and a red dot. And everything in two devices. We already have one device. Clash 2 flashlight, dual flashlight. So. There will be one more device that combines a red dot, visible laser and infrared laser in one device. So, I present the new product VZOR2 red dot. VZOR2 is three in one. Red dot, visible laser and infrared laser. So, kind of a hybrid of PIERST4 and VZOR1. We already started the tests of VZOR2. It is a working model with a green visible laser. I will install it on B22 now. It has a quick release mount. Installed. A rifle Vitis SN with the maximum possible range of possibilities. The final weight of this setup is 4 kilos and 97, 98 grams. Note that this is the maximum possible range of possibilities. So for some goals you choose some options, for some goals you don't choose them and we as a manufacturer we offer you the maximum possible range of solutions for different goals and for maximum beauty let's put a magazine in looks like this and i said that the iron side stays open let's check yes it is open i saw it myself now i will show you Another possible setup you can install VZOR2 red dot not on B22 rail but on B19 and upper hand cut. In this case the line of the red dot will be lower but it will cover the line of the iron side. So that depends on what is primary for you. So life is an art of what is possible. And I finished the modernization of this beautiful Vitis SN. Looks really awesome the products that i demonstrated today can be ordered in partner stores see the list of official partners on en.zenitka.ru in partners section we post these videos on our youtube channel on our rootube channel as well that's a russian analog of youtube all the videos are copied there and all the news about videos, about new products, interesting photos are posted in our 
Telegram channel Zenitka. Follow us on Telegram. Press the like button if you like the video, write your questions in comment section and I will see you soon. Goodbye!